Hey over there, Joel Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Now, we're gonna go to one of our favorite things to ever go to. Whenever we go to a town, city, we like to check out the local zoo. Yep. And that's where we're at. But we're not at the local zoo. We're actually at the Smithsonian National Zoo. So, step right up. Let's go for this ride. One of Joy's favorite animals, the elephants. <laughs> we have evidence of elephants, but sadly, no elephants. We have animals. The American bison. Over here we have Gallium Lucy. Joy, we have success. We went to the zoo. We've seen animals. <laughs> Joy, do you kudu? Hey, kudu. We found the lesser kudus of the grasslands of Africa. In this enclosure, we have cheetah, the world's fastest land animal. That's in short distance, not over a long period of time. Yep, that, that right there is the what the fastest land animal looks like. <laughs> Laying fastest down, taking it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and behind it, we see the zebra in the enclosure behind. Do you think that's tempting for the cheetah every day, seeing that zebra going, if we were out on the streets, man, I'd eat you. Learning about the National Zoo. It's actually 125 years old. And it's like, interesting, we're on something called Olmstead Walk. It's the main path in the zoo. Just a warning, if you come to the zoo, it is built on a hill. You have about an eight-tenth of a mile walk up the hill and then back down. So be prepared for a little bit of walking. Bamboo! I, yes, it does say smile and say bamboo. <laughs> now, you see the great panda. That is the thing that people come to the National Zoo to see. And that's what we're going to head to see now. We found my favorite animal to see at the zoo. The bears, and this one is a sloth bear from Asia. He's hiding in that bamboo from us. And that sloth bear we just saw is on part of the zoo that's the Asia Trail. And here we have another thing on the Asia Trail, the clouded leopard. And these clouded leopards are only two years old. One was born March 24th, 2019, and one was born April 29th, 2019. We only see one. So, and I don't know which one it is, and they're not telling me their names. Joy, where do they put the litter boxes in the wild? Anywhere they want. No clawed otters. And we also didn't see the Fisher cat. We did come in just before the start of winter, and they said, because it's cold, not all the animals will be out. And we definitely are finding that to be true. Not all the animals are out. Come in warmer weather. And we found what we came for. The new so baby yeah. giant panda. There they are, the giant panda bear. Now the first time we see mommy and baby. Look, he's climbing a tree. There goes the baby, climbing the tree. It is cool being able to go to a zoo and see the giant panda. Do you think this panda would share its bamboo with me? And you can see the whole crowd there looking for the baby panda and the mommy, but then we have another panda right over here. This one's giving me the cold shoulder though. Here we have the northern snakehead. Now, they might look cute and cuddly for a fish, but if you look, they portrayed it really evil here. That's because this is an invasive species here in North America that came over here from Asia. We have the red panda. We just saw the giant panda, which is more related to the bear. Now, the red panda, they're more related to raccoons. That's why me and Joy love them, because we love raccoons too. He's so cute. That face is so adorable. Come on home. So would that make him technically a red trash panda? 
Oh. He said, I don't know. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that face. Looking at me. Look at the close view of this giant panda. They're so small compared to regular bears. Or maybe it doesn't look that nice. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Joy, what what panda butt? <laughs> we came back to the elephant building and it was worth it. We found an elephant. And these are Asian elephants. Getting a little treat there. One really cool thing about the National Zoo is it is free. You could come to DC, you could walk right into the zoo. But, however, if you want to park at the zoo, there is a $30 fee to park there, and then admission's free. So, take it as you will. It's hard to find spots outside the zoo, so we paid the $30 to park at the zoo. But we saw giant pandas, we saw pachyderms. I think it's worth it so far. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, unless it's a Relative of a domestic horse. Privilege, I can't pronounce that horse. <laughs> Which comes from middle of uh, Europe into Russia. It's interesting. These, the wild horses of that area, Asia and, and Europe, they've never been domesticated. They're only wild horses. And all my video is animals but this video. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Entering the small mammal house. It smells like skunk. It does smell like skunk. My favorite smell. And here we have some cute little monkeys. Goldie's monkeys. Joy was, Joy was all excited to see the fox, and that's it, hiding behind that stick. One of my favorite animals, porcupine, who's giving us his butt again. But at least I got to see him. We have the, we have the golden headed lion tamarind. Right there. And it looks like a tiny one over there. They did say there's been a new birth and there's a baby. It might be there. And there is. There it is. There's the baby. We see you, baby. Do you see the little babies? It's, it's curious about us. We have a southern tamandua butt. It's like an anteater. Trying to get a face. There it is. Southern tamandua. Joy said it's related to the anteater. It's a type of squirrel. It is. It's a prepose squirrel. Hello, Previs Squirrel. I kind of want one. Joy, you have to go vegetarian. You want too many animals. <laughs> but he's a different one. I've never seen what I want. Oh, oh, you just want him not to eat him. No, not to oh, eat him. Oh, my mistake. Joy's busy still looking at the squirrel, missing out on this cute cat here. The sand cat. I know. I said cat. She starts. Uh huh. But the cat's sleepy. Ow. Look how excited Joy is to see a sleepy cat. I mean, I had that when I was growing up, anyways. <laughs> sleepy cat. Put some clothing on. You're looking decent. Here we have the naked mole rats. You can't go that way, buddy.
You even have more naked mole, moles, rats. Oh, this is cool. You can see right through. I know, they have like a cool like habit trail set up here. Naked mole rat traffic jams. <laughs> They're stuck. In that one little tube. See them trying to... I see them trying to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, big traffic jam. Oh, lemurs. <laughs> I'm gonna play with this and this and drop this. And play play with it all. And then have a little snack. <laughs> it is amazing that lemurs only found on the island of Madagascar. We found the two-toed sloth. He's actually moving faster than I've seen most sloths ever move. <laughs> I love the tamarins trying to like see like which which way is it going? Which, uh, I gotta get out of here. Big stretch from the chinchilla. Chinchilla. I like how you said chinchilla like a chia pet. It was like chinchilla. chinchilla. We have some more of the southern tamandu. Tamandua? Sorry I'm pronouncing your names wrong, guy. We got some striped skunks. One of my favorite animals. Me and Joy disagree. She thinks the smell of skunks. You. I think they smell good. I like skunk spray smell. But I might just be a weirdo. Next up, the great ape house. It's interesting that the great ape house is covered in bees. We found the orangutans. I love, we have a little baby orangutan playing in the back. These are the Western Lowland Gorillas. They weren't inside, so we came and we found them playing in the back. Or laying in the sun. One's wearing a blanket as a shirt. We do have a little bit of glare on this dirty window, but you can see the little guys. It's like my blanket. What's that blanket? You got the blanket. He's just chilling like a villain, hanging out in the sun. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know, the other one stole your blanket. You're upset. And then he just threw it on the floor. In the reptile house, we found one of my favorites, the Gia monster. Ooh, very venomous snakes, like a bull and a viper. And his legs in. We have a timber python looking right at me. This false water cobra wants to eat the baby. You can't eat the baby. It's not allowed, false water cobra. I didn't know I was looking at that one. This one wants to eat me. Here we have Cuban crocodiles. This is a very interesting snake called a rhinoceros snake. If you look at the, it looks like it almost has a horn on the top of its nose. We have a massive Grand Cayman iguana. That might be the biggest iguana I've ever seen. The Japanese giant salamander, just for reference. Its head's the size of my hand. We have an Aldebra tortoise. It's, it's one of the biggest tortoises I've ever seen in my life. Just chilling in his water. Interesting in that restoring the building and the entire portico, including the original stone carvings of the toad and portico and the marble, they're gonna fully restore all this. He doesn't look like he's climbing now, but it's cool. They built the orangutan could go up and this upper part goes all across a chunk of this part of the zoo. We found the orangutans in the Think Building. Talking about brains. That's 
Look, 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 he's tucking himself in for night. He's going to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Make it a yep, and then it's down. But the great cat area, we found ourselves a tiger. And there it goes. Gotta spray the bushes first. Yep. We found the lion. They're waking up because someone's making some noise. Probably. They're like, what's the racket about? So we could officially call it. We saw the great panda bear, the tiger, and now we have the lion. So we've seen lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Oh my. He didn't think it was funny. I love the sun making the lion's mane glisten. Because I'm the king. Of the mountain. He don't look cowardly though. We actually have a fiberglass film star here. This Triceratops was named Uncle Beasley and he was in a 1968 movie called The Enormous Egg based off a 56 children's book. No autographs from him though. In the center park is the Speedwell Foundation Conservation Carousel. I love carousels that all the different animals from all over the world but what's cool about this one is if you look on top there's solar panels this one the few solar powered carousels go it's hard to figure out what animals you want joy's going for a leopard i'm going for an orangutan or i was thinking panda. about the red panda <laughs> the red panda looks very small i'm afraid i'm gonna break the red panda I fit on a red panda. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. All the birds in here. Yeah, and there's all the fun facts about it. All right, she guys. This is made in 2012. Awesome. Made here in the U.S. of A. Whee! <laughs> so now we get to figure out the lifelong World always was curious about question. What is faster, the big cat or the red panda? We seem to go in the same speed as of now. I'm saying the red panda because with my weight, if I wasn't on it, it would be going a lot faster. <laughs> so I think red panda by default wins. There is no scientific basis of this. This is totally made up. No facts whatsoever, but it's what I'm calling. False facts, folks. False facts. Naked mole rats! All the animals that you can see on this are amazing. Like the fox next to the rhino. And frogs and seals and seahorses. And it's not like a new one where they're all fiberglass. They're actually carved out of wood. We just realized they all have plaques on them. Joy was the clouded leopard. You can see some more of the animals, like the American bison, a black bear. Oh, that was a crab. That is a crab over there. And what's interesting is, as you walk around, like you see the ladybug there, and the Fiji Island iguana, they actually have facts about each of those animals. I love the kangaroo of the mommy kangaroo, and the little joey is the bench. And this is the donors who helped make the carousel possible. What I like is seeing all the animals from gorillas, grasshoppers, gray seal, zebras, hummingbirds. And the cool thing about this is that there are not just any animals. There are actually animals that you find around in the zoo here. Yeah, every one of these animals are the animals in this exact zoo, which to me is awesome. We found the lemurs all on Lemur Mountain. So, you think when these lemurs are on this mountain, they play King of the Mountain? We all know that King Julian's at the top, though. I wanted to go to the farm, but they said it's just for kids, and I need to keep on moving. 
There's a miniature Mediterranean donkey named Giuseppe. That means Joe in Italian. There's a donkey named after me here. Hey Giuseppe, are you back there? Is that you in there, Bon Giuseppe? And you can see the other two on this side. One of you three is Giuseppe, because all they have is Pat, Giuseppe, and Flash. Amazonia. Do you think they're gonna, when we go in, say welcome to the jungle? They got fun of games. The Amazon jungle? <laughs> I know it's the Amazon rainforest, but <laughs> come on, work with me here. Amazonia. Time for some rainforest. Joy, I heard here they make it rain. Oh. We have to let the doors close behind us because it's actually an open environment one. As you can see from this bird, right here. Hello, Mr. Bird. It's always cool when you come in and they're like literally, right there, there's a bird. Having some drinks. I really think Joy made a new friend. The bird's following. You start walking away. Bless you! Bless you, Mr. Bird. Those are some big fish. Look at the size of that catfish and the paku paku. I don't. Joy, go stand there for reference. I don't think people could understand how big these fish actually are without a, a Joy. Those are, some, those are some big fish. That's crazy. That's like if I stood up myself and laid Yeah, if you lay down, that fish is taller than you. I know of red belly piranhas, but this is a violet line piranha. The beeping you hear is an electric detector. Because what do we have here? But an electric eel. So they said this, these metal strips in the corner of this tank actually pick up the eel's electric pulse. Time to go into the forest. And don't worry, if you need it, there is an elevator. <laughs> it is cool, the second floor, we're actually in the environment. Remember folks, animals roam free here. All those fish we were looking at, we're actually now above all their tanks. We found one of those free roaming animals. <laughs> this cute little monkey. <laughs> There's another one hiding up there. You can still see him. I can't figure out if this is cacao seed, which would be chocolate. It's what it looks like to me. But there's no sign. I don't know. We found guinea pigs. The Amazon. And the last part of the Smithsonian National Zoo, the American Trail. Found some Californian sea lions. You know, I think we should call them Californian sleep lions. Who's a tired sea lion? Is that all of you? Yes, you are a tired sea lion. We found another one. This sea lion is very curious about the people looking at him. Poor her. Oh, this is very funny though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we also have some brown pelicans here in the enclosure. Sea lion me and friends. And now here we have some cute like they actually like to put on the shelf for people. North American River Otters. See ya! I just wonder if they had a cell phone, what protective case would they use? Out of box. We found another American animal. The gray squirrel. And this one doesn't have a closure. He's a wild man. Roam free, as free as this squirrel is. Hello! So there you have it. That's the Smithsonian National Zoo. It is a really nice zoo. I love zoos that are in the hearts of cities. It's about, a, I would say, a few miles north of downtown. Yep. 
but if you're in DC, I definitely would recommend coming to see it. Where else are you going to see the great pandas? Like, it's cool. It mm -hmm. really is. But we go to a lot of different zoos. So if you like seeing stuff like this and roadside attractions, museums, mini golfs, amusement parks, you know what you should do? Tell them what they should do, Joy. They should subscribe. That would be nice if you do. And if you like this video, let us know. Tell us a comment of like, what was your favorite animal that we saw? Give this video a thumbs up saying that you liked it. All those good things. It makes it very groovy when you do that. We greatly appreciate it. But I think we could call it for now, Joy. I think we can. The National Zoo here brought to you by the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good eat. And live life. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce.